Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to bounce record multiple tracks down to one or two tracks. Let's get started. So first we're going to discuss how to bounce record down to one track. So in order to do this, it's going to be just like mastering to start out with. If you watched my video on mastering, if not, let's get caught up to speed. So our first step is going to be to get our song sounding the way we wanted it. So we're going to mix our volumes, add in panning, reverb, and DQs the way we like them. Once you have all this set to go, then we're going to go over here and press the bounce button and it will turn solid. Next, I like to check and make sure that none of my inputs are assigned to any channels. So let's check that. Nothing's flashing there. Nothing's flashing there. If you would like to, hit shift and the input button for both inputs and go ahead and just turn them off. Now that we have done that, we have to select the channel that we would like our tracks, four tracks over here, to bounce to. I would like to bounce them to the end so that I can reopen one through seven. So we're just going to arm channel eight. Now it's flashing. Now that channel 8 is armed, all we have to do is simply press play and record and it will begin to bounce these four channels to channel 8. With this configuration, we will not be able to do any stereo panning if we had two instruments that we would like to split left and right. If you were to pan in this configuration, you will lose the audio that you have panned far one way or another. So, all we do now is press these two buttons. Okay, now that we have that done, all we need to do is turn these faders down so we're no longer using them. Go ahead and turn off bounce mode just by clicking it and make sure that this is no longer flashing, which it is not, so we're good. Now, if we press play and turn this track up, we should now hear all of this on this one track. So let's give it a try. All right, so it looks like that's working. So now I'll explain how to make a stereo bounce so that we can use stereo panning. Disclaimer, 
The configuration that I'm using to record my audio out of the board is not set up for stereo, so anything that I do stereo you will not actually hear, but you'll have to take my word for it. My correct cabling is at a different location and I do not have it with me. So in order to make these videos, I am using some different equipment that will not allow me to do stereo panning. So on with the video. Okay, so back where we started. Now I said that if you wanted to do some stereo panning that you would have to have two tracks that you're going to bounce your audio to. So we're going to do basically the same thing here only with two tracks. So we'll start by arming the bounce button and then we'll select two tracks that we would like to bounce to. I'm going to do seven and eight so that I can free up one through six. Then again we are going to do the same thing that we did before by making sure that our inputs are not assigned to anything and just to safeguard we can turn them off so we don't accidentally harm them. Once this is done again we'll press play and record That leaves your soul to bleed. Some say love. All right, so there we go. Now, all we need to do is turn off bounce again. Make sure these are no longer flashing, which they aren't, so we're good. Now, we're going to turn these two tracks up. They are now a stereo pair. So you will now use these as a left and a right audio pair. So when you bring one up, you want to bring the other. So now if we press play, Okay, so there you have it. That is how to bounce to one or two channels on the Tascam DPO2. I hope that helps. If you have any more questions, please let me know in the comments. If you'll like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching.